Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about optical character resolution of images with UiPath. That is, somebody's giving you an image, there's a bunch of text on it that you need, how do you get it off there? So here's the image invoice that I want to process, and I want to get the invoice number, the invoice date, and then the total down here. And it is a, a JPEG image. You can see it's .jpg and it's this file right here and it's being viewed inside of a photo viewer. And so I'm gonna have to do optical character recognition to extract that data on it. And so I'm gonna kick that off by creating a new process project and I'll call it JPEG invoice OCR because we're processing an invoice here that is a JPEG. And the first thing I do when I start this off is I use the start PowerShell command utility. I'm going to click open main window first, but yeah, I tried to just use the regular run process and it didn't work. So I have to use this activity here, which says invoke the PowerShell command. And here you just put the name of the JPEG file, right? That's just the, it's in this folder invoice images. The invoice is C2C003. So that kicks things off. And the other thing I like to do is I like to just maximize the file as well. So I, when I'm doing OCR, I like every file to be maximized on the page and that just uh, that makes things go a little bit smoother. So that means sending a hotkey to the page. And the hotkey to maximize is just Alt Space X. And believe it or not, sometimes it doesn't work on the first try. So I always put two in. I just think it's a, a weird thing that happens. I think maybe it's actually Alt, Space, and then X. I think what happens is the Space and the X happen too quickly together. And sometimes the X isn't registered. So there you go. I always like to put that in twice. It doesn't have anything to do with OCR. It just has to do with the way I like processing the files. Anyways, the, the thing you're probably interested in is the OCR. So let's just say I want to get the invoice number, the invoice date, and the total for the invoice. And maybe write that out to database or Excel at some point in time in the future. In order to do that, I'll need three variables. And so I'm going to create one variable in the sequence called invoice number, another variable called invoice date, and a final one called invoice total. And they're all of type string, and they all have scope inside the sequence. And then what I do is I look for my OCR activity, and specifically the get OCR text. I drag this on. And it says to me, okay, indicate on the screen what you're going after. And right now I think I'm gonna go after, well, what's the first thing that shows up? The first thing that shows up is the invoice number. And so I'm gonna specify here in OCR under the output text, I'm gonna say this. We'll initialize the invoice number. I have to click on screen. And by the way, when I do this, I'm just gonna write this here. I have to click on F3 in order to select a piece of the PDF file. So I can't really show you that on a screencast, but I wanna tell you that it's gonna happen in just a second. But here we go, I wanna indicate where I wanna extract text from that uh, PDF file. So I'll click indicate on screen, click alt tab to get to the invoice, and then click F3. And after clicking F3, I can highlight that invoice number. As I come back to UiPath, you can see that's been selected here. And so hopefully it'll be able to extract that data from this JPEG. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing twice. So I'm gonna copy this. Well, I'm gonna do it three times, two more times. And on this one, we got the invoice number. On the second one, I'll go after the invoice date. And on the third one, we will go after the invoice total. And we'll do that again by selecting, well, we can't leave it there on the invoice number. I've got to click here, say indicate on screen, tab over to the invoice, and this is gonna be the invoice date. Again, I can't, I can't select individual things on this page because it's an image, but if I hit function F3, it does allow me to 
crop pieces of the page there. Now that will represent the date. And then finally, this will be the invoice total. So again, indicate on screen. Click function F3, well F3. And then highlight, in this case, it's gonna be the total. And now I've got all of my OCR working. When this is done, the last thing to do is just write that information out. And I can do that with a very simple, <clears throat> well, this is the command that I'm gonna put in there. Invoice number plus invoice date plus invoice total. invoice date plus invoice total and that should give me an idea of exactly what's happening when the OCR works so hopefully we'll get the correct data okay so let's save this click Save and then finally we will do a run the page comes up a little bit of OCR happens, it's all done maximized, and then we come back to the page and you can see it's pulled out the it's pulled out the invoice number, C3C003. It's pulled out the date, 03-03-2020. It looks like it's used an M dash there instead of a small dash, but that's something that any data cleansing routine can handle. You should always run one of those after OCR just to tighten things up a little bit. And you know, switching an M dash to a normal dash shouldn't be too onerous for a software developer. And then finally 230, which is which maps to the total on the invoice. So yeah, if we take a look at this here, yeah, there's C3C030, that was the invoice number, 0303-2020 was the date and 230 was the total for the invoice. And all of that was scraped from a JPEG image all using OCR. And there you go, that's how easy it is to do optical character resolution of images with UiPath. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I've got lots of great tutorials on all sorts of things to do with enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.